Hey Blossom gang, it's Chantel aka Shani Blossom and I'm back with another video. I want to say if you have not already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to like this video and also if you can please comment in the comment section below. So today's video, we get this lighting together. Today's video is going to be um, about how I found out I was pregnant with this baby, um, the events that led up to that, and all sorts of stuff because I said I wanted to start documenting things in this pregnancy um, because this is, I feel like, a miracle baby. Um, and so I just want to share um, what I've been through um, before that. I know I haven't done a video in a minute. I apologize um, to you all for that. Um, a lot of things have transpired. I wanted to do a vlog for Christmas and New Year's. However, um, me and my husband were not able to do that simply because unfortunately we caught the infamous COVID. Um, and I specifically think we caught like the latest variant Omicron. So unfortunately that happened. We were out of commission for like two weeks. Um, thank God we only caught like a mild case um, of it, but it was definitely terrifying to say the least. Um, but we got through it by the grace of God. And now we are you know better so <laughs> that's why I've been gone I didn't get to do like the holiday things but we finally were able to make that up um, spend time with family and open up gifts and stuff like that so we got to celebrate a little bit later um, also it snowed in Charlotte <laughs> so um, if you don't know that's where we reside it, it snowed y'all so um, I, and I also have kind of been a little bit off the grid, so I just want to come back on here and re-engage because I've had a lot of new followers. I want to say thank you to the new followers. Thank you for following me. Thank you for subscribing, and I hope that you stay on this journey with me as my family grows. So, um, today's video is very special and near and dear to my heart because um, I'm going to be talking about how um i found out i was pregnant with this baby and basically like the miracle this miracle baby story so pretty much um a lot of people may or may not know if you've been watching my channel for a minute um actually had a miscarriage prior to um i've had two miscarriages so the first miscarriage i had um it was due to something called a subchorionic hematoma. It's basically like a bleed. It happens, unfortunately, in some pregnancies. And the bleed was bigger than the placenta. And so basically at that point, I miscarried that child very early. Like around, I would say around like 9, 10 weeks. Um, also, um, me and my husband, um, I put out this video. It's one of my most viewed videos about how me and my husband met and got married within less than six months. We got married in June of 2021. Um, we both discussed pregnancy. We both discussed like children. And so the plan was is that we were not going to um, try to have children like just straight away. Um, we were gonna wait a little bit to have kids. Um, and then <laughs> uh, that plan didn't that plan did not fall through. So pretty much um, we discussed it um, and I ended up having a um, chemical pregnancy or early um, miscarriage um, even earlier than the last one. Um, like July of 2021. So we got married in June. I found out I was pregnant in July and then I miscarried in um, August. And I was starting to kind of document like my symptoms and stuff like that. Um, however, unfortunately, ended up having a chemical pregnancy. It did not, like, the pregnancy did not grow. Um, and I, my husband, um, took me to the emergency room and that happened. It was very traumatic for me because I had already been through a situation similar and I just couldn't understand why me. And then also on top of that, 
I for sure thought that that was going to be like a viable pregnancy, even though we didn't plan it. And it was hard for me um, for like a few, I would say like a few weeks. It was very hard for me. So um, um, what I did was I wanted to see if there was something that was going on with me personally, like why I was not able to carry um, my children until at least the second or the third trimester. I thought something was going on with me. So I decided that I wanted to go to my um, OBGYN. I set an appointment, me and my husband went, um, and we had a discussion about my fibroids. I do have uterine fibroids. I don't have a lot. I think I have about like three or four. Um, and so um, when I went to that specific doctor, he was basically saying that I might need something called a endomectomy. I I, I'm, oh no, sorry, a myomectomy. He was saying I needed a myomectomy to have a baby. A myomectomy is basically when they take out your uterine fibroids. You have to get, you heal up within six months and then you have to have a baby within six months to a year after it because your fibroids can grow back after you have that um, procedure. So it's pretty much like you gotta be on like clockwork. And I would have to go straight into like a C-section if I were to do that with all of my pregnancies. Would not be able to have a vaginal delivery with that procedure. Um, after we left um, that um, doctor, I was a little upset, but you know, when I was walking, we were walking back to the car to leave, I just heard the Lord tell me to pray. And so um, I knew in that instant I was not gonna go with the myomectomy. Um, I kind of just had this conviction inside of me, like if God is telling me to pray, then that's probably not the step that I need to take um, for pregnancy. So pretty much, um, my husband was on board with it. I was feeling iffy about it. So basically I wanted to get a second opinion. So I booked an appointment to see another doctor. Unfortunately, I don't know how it happened, but, um, that doctor I was not able to meet with. And so I think it was all like in a part of God's plan pretty much. So I was kind of done with going to that doctor, that OBGYN because he told me that. But at the same time, he wanted me to come back because I said, well, listen, nobody's ever like explained to me where my uterine fibroids exactly are. I want to see where they are because I've been going to the OBGYN ever since you're supposed to start, like ever since a teenager. And no one has ever shown me my fibroids. No one ever has ever gone into detail about my fibroids. And I feel like OBGYN should do that. <laughs> like, I feel like it should be a part of care. I shouldn't have to be fighting this hard to figure out, you know, where they're actually located. Um, so he wanted to call me back in within a few weeks to do that. And so I stayed with that same doctor. Um, and so... I started, you know, talking to certain people, getting, you know, opinions and stuff. And and then my dad was just telling me, I want you to read the story of Hannah in the Bible. And the story of Hannah in the Bible is basically about a woman who was married to a man um, back in those days. I don't know how, but they ended up, he ended up having two wives. One wife was so fertile. She had all these kids. The other wife was not fertile she was something called barren meaning she could not bear forth any children even though that was something that she desired she could not have children and it really in the the one wife was picking on hannah saying you know picking on her telling her oh you can't have kids you can't do this you can't do that so she got really discouraged and one day they went up um i don't want to tell the story wrong but they went up to basically go pray to the lord um and she cried out she cried out and she cried out to the lord and she basically like put her heart on on the altar and basically like was like lord please give me a child if you give me a child i give this child back to you and so um it was to a point where like the priest thought she was drunk and she wasn't drunk she was just fed up she was weary she wanted a miracle she needed a miracle from god and so pretty much 
um, I started reading that every single day. And I started resonating and I started praying like, hey God, like please, if I could only have one, just let me just have one. And that's, I don't even have that over after that, Lord. And so um, this was all within like a few weeks time frame, okay? Um, I also started taking prenatal vitamins um, during this time. I just kept on taking them. Kept taking prenatal vitamins. I cut. I started cutting back on caffeine and stuff like that. Even though you can have some of those things, I just decided I was gonna cut some things back, um, and so I did. And then um, after that, I felt like my husband, you know, did a really great job of consoling me, helping me, you know, think on other things to help me get back acclimated. I even went back to work. Um, and I think it kind of did help my mind in a sense, but that's a whole nother story for another day. So, um, I pretty much, um, had it in my heart like, hey, uh, it'll happen when it's time to happen, pretty much. I'm gonna have faith. And I pretty much, like, laid out to my husband, hey, I'm not gonna get the myomectomy, I know, but I'm just, I don't have, I don't want to do that. Because something in me was just like, uh-uh, this is the time now. Like, this is the time now. I know we said, but I just feel like I don't need the surgery right now. Maybe later on, but right now, no, I'm not gonna do it. And so, um, I just had the unction. I feel like that was the Holy Spirit. And wanted me to trust in God enough to say, hey, I can do something, you know, new for you. So, pretty much, um, after it was all said and done, um, I went to the appointment, the ultrasound appointment. The day before I went to the ultrasound appointment, I something clicked in my heart. And it was just like, you're pregnant. And so I was getting scared to go to the appointment um, because I didn't want anything to affect the baby because I kind of had this inkling that I was pregnant. But um, I went to get went to get a blood draw that same day, and my um, my my pregnancy or HCG level was negative, like it was in the negative. So there was I wasn't actually like. I was pregnant, but I, I wasn't like at the point where HCG was building in my system yet. So I left that appointment and me and the doctor were actually on the same page. He was like, hey, um, what do you feel about the surgery? And I pretty much told him, hey, I respect you as a doctor, but I don't, I'm not going to get the surgery right now. And he actually agreed with me. And that made me feel so much better because we were on the same page. Um, and I decided to stay with the doctor and so over the weekend I started I know this is TMI I got like I, I fell down the stairs one so my back was hurting when I went to the appointment um, however um, I think I started getting a yeast infection I did I started getting a yeast infection and I don't I haven't had one of those in a minute and I usually use um, borax to clear it, but I something told me don't use that. So I held off and I just went to the doctor's appointment. And um, before I went to the doctor's appointment, this was, I went to the doctor to look at my uterine fibers on a, fi on a Friday. My HCG levels were negative, okay? Like there was no HCG in my system at all. On Sunday, I, uh, on Sunday, I had a dream and in my dream I had a baby and the baby was smiling and having fun and in this I had the baby in a blue ba blue blanket and the baby was alive and basically it was me my husband and my mom and for whatever reason I was nursing the baby and the baby latched on really well and I was like, look, 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 the baby's latching on really well. And then I woke up. And so I went immediately and got a test. I went and bought a test. And sure enough, that thing came back pregnant, okay? So then I went downstairs and told my husband. And he cried and he was excited. And um, I just told him that this is a promise, baby. I feel like this is like a, our basically our miracle, baby. 
and so pretty much um i had to schedule an appointment because i basically got a yeast infection and i don't really get those and so um <laughs> the doctor was like yep it's a yeast infection and yeah uh they did a pregnancy test you are pregnant so we're gonna so what he said was we're gonna track your hcg levels to see if they are rising and i had to go three times guys before they would book me an appointment to be seen um for the first um anatomy scan and sorry i know i say this in a lot of videos but sorry if i start crying on some of these parts okay so so every single time i would go to the uh the labs were so quick y'all i would go the day and then in the morning before i got to work or while i was at work like eight or nine o'clock they would have the results ready so the first time the hcg levels doubled and i was like thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord second time i went the hcg levels doubled i was like thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord then the third time the hcg levels like doubled and i was just ecstatic because i was like yep 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 this is it so then um they scheduled my appointment and I was so anxious to have the appointment. Hold on one guy. Hold on one second guys. My camera is about to cut off. So like I was saying guys, um, I was so anxious to have the appointment because I didn't get to have this the last time. Um, and oh, let me tell you, I forgot to mention this. I literally, okay. I should have mentioned this a long time ago. I had my my um, miscarriage or chemical pregnancy. It ended around the 19th of August. I got pregnant again like three weeks later because I got a positive test on September the 3rd, 2021. So three weeks after I had the mis miscarriage, that's when I got pregnant with this bundle of joy. So, I just want to let y'all know that I didn't have a period in between this pregnancy and the last pregnancy. So, let me fast forward. I was so anxious to get to this um, ultrasound because I had an ultrasound for the last pregnancy. But before they scheduled me this one, they wanted to make sure that my ACG levels were rising. So, pretty much... Um, I had my, we had our um, anatomy scan, our first anatomy scan, October, I believe it was October the 8th. I could be wrong on the dates, y'all. It was in October. Me and my husband went. So pretty much, I, we saw the baby on the ultrasound, right? And it was beautiful. I cried a little bit, um, but I was just happy. Okay, I was just happy that the <laughs> I was just happy that the baby was healthy and happy and so pretty much after that um, I ended up getting another yeast infection because of the <laughs> just kept on getting yeast infection <laughs> because of that vaginal gel that they insert T too much okay so pretty much um Everything was right with the baby, um, and the baby just kept on progressing and growing. And then after that um, ultrasound, I was able to see, hear the baby's heartbeat at every like appointment because they do the Doppler, and I love it. And her and the heartbeat is pretty much like solid, um, really good. Um, and so I was just proud of the baby every single appointment. And so I ended up having like, um, the second anatomy scan and the baby was growing like, and the baby has a beautiful profile and the baby is just doing really well. I do have to go to another ultrasound, um, to check the baby's heart because the baby was moving so much at the ultrasound. We could not get the baby's heart. But I was just proud of the baby. But yeah, I was just proud of the baby for growing and getting me to a point where I had to, I, cause there was a point in time, because when you go through like miscarriage and stuff like that, your mind sometimes, you know, wants to go to, 
you you don't you want to get to the next level because when you get to the next level you're like well then i can breathe a little bit and i think that's what started happening to me i i wanted to be able to just breathe and just take it all in and and be happy it was kind of hard for me sometimes um because of what i had gone through in the past and that's why you know i want to i i do pray for women that have gone through what i've gone through because it's definitely not easy um because it can come back to affect you later on but i feel like i now i'm at a point where i'm just extremely happy um for this baby and that's how we got our miracle baby now currently we are at 22 weeks this thursday which is in like two days 23 weeks the baby will be bigger than before and then we'll get to see the baby again on the ultrasound i'm gonna let y'all see my baby bump um i got a good nice size baby bump and um yeah i just want y'all to see it so this is my baby bump y'all this is the baby bump. This is the whole baby. <laughs> My husband was laughing at me, y'all. This is all baby. So we got about baby. What's what's forty minus twenty two? Eighteen. We got eighteen more weeks back. But basically, when Thursday comes, we only have seventeen weeks, and that seems like a minute, but it's really not a minute it's like it's a short amount of time so to me personally so um i'm excited uh to hold this baby experience this baby i'll be doing some more videos i'm thinking about doing like a first trimester recap second trimester recap and a third trimester recap video um so i want to do that and then also i wanted to um sh tell y'all about my pregnancy symptoms i'll do that in another video as well like the symptoms that i've experienced in the first trimester and currently being in the second trimester so i hope y'all enjoy this video um i hope that it touches somebody um, if you're on a similar journey or you've gone through what I've gone through or you're currently expecting Don't hesitate to reach out to me right now to be honest If you are expecting that would be greatly appreciated if you reached out to me because um, It's nice to be to be in communication with other people that are going through what I'm going through um, And that is on the journey to become a mom my husband and dad um so that is all that i have for y'all guys i'll talk to y'all later bye